Good morning, guys. Where are we going today? Now to Case 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 yeah. If we get there alive, again. Well, oh, she's been driving all week. She's in her car, so that's all, and all good. I can relax. And thing is, the camera's moving around on its own as well. Look. They've told you that it's that gimbal thing. It has a mind of its own. And the thing is, while she's driving, now turn left. if I'm asleep, I'm not going to know when I've died. So. Day four. Day four. Off to Caster. Car coming there. I wasn't going to hit it, but stopped. Just turn this gimbal round. I can't get used to this. <laughs> there we are. That's two of us in. Hi. And then Thomas is there, sat in back like a ghost. And Courtney's hiding behind your head. And Courtney's hiding behind my head because she likes being a hidden. So we'll do a bit of a road journey down there for countryside because there's lots of countryside around right here. And we'll see you in case then. James, it's only a mile away. You're not going to be able to show them that much, you know. Oh. It's that through road. So sorry about that, guys. I nearly got us dying in live. You didn't press record though, did you? She should have been a rally driver. <laughs> Do you want to put your wipers on so you can see through the windscreen? Oh, there you are, look. That's Feel better. Bad? I just love these back seat drivers. I love this countryside. I don't know why I've just moved gimbal when it moves itself. <laughs> Right, I do want to say something on this on the start of this video. I would like to say thank you to Misty Please Eyes. Right She's absolutely yards. epic. I'm assuming it's a she. Sorry if it's not. Um, absolutely epic. She oh. does you See what happened there, guys? That's her going over a speed hump too fast. <laughs> Thank you very much, Misty Eyes, for all of your feedback, and I know you watch all of us videos, so thank you for joining us. Now turn right. <laughs> now turn right. There's, a, there's, there's one of them here, look. We have right, to stop. Hard right, hard right. Sure. Hard right. <laughs> you two twats. I'm glad you can't swear on here, can you? He's twatting the word. Her farm shop. Put your foot down, not keep a cannon to his bees. Turn <laughs> left after 400 yards. <laughs> They're probably turning left soon. Uh, right guys, so we will catch you when we get there. Yeah, fabulous. So, uh, this is Caster and it's just started raining. Of course. <sighs> beach. Let's go to the beach. Not really. A lot here, is there? There's a church up there and there's, is it some sort of battlegrounds? Yeah, so we might end up turning around and going back up that way where you were going originally. Well, that was the plan, but you said go that way. Well, I don't know where town is in case it's the well, town. Well, it's a village, but... Yeah, we're heading towards the beach now, so I don't know what's at the beach, but we're heading that way. We are. A couple of shops. Here's Stylus, James. And the Stylus, yeah. That's it. Uh, used to be an old train station being converted into bungalows, because the train lines used to run across here. So guys, we've dropped on luck here, this car park on the seafront next to the lifeboat station is free. So they must have realised not many people come down here so they're not going to charge it. So that's all good. And we all know I like a free guys, car later. park. The wife's there just eating crap again. But that's what she enjoys. So this is apparently a bit of a famous lifeboat station. Not a great deal to show you, so it might not be a great long video, will it? No. Looking at things. And the, the boys, well, the young lad and his missus have gone into the town not realising there isn't really a town, it's a village. But I didn't have a lot to tell him, so. You're going to enjoy the walk. Exercise will do him good. Still, I've got experience. There are a few bits and bobs here, I think. I don't know if that's the way to be here. Can you get the beach this way? Well, you walk straight ahead. Wow. Well, 
your main lifeboat station over there. And then this is your shop and what have you for lifeboats. And that is where you put your donations, but they've sailed it up for some reason. But they can't go in it. I've brought a bit of change out of me as well. That's open, so let's drop something in there. Tea, coffee, and cold drinks. The dog's welcome. You yeah, different back. services provided. Missing per person found ashore. Medical evacuation. These are the things I've done recently in 2023. Not too many, thankfully. Have a lot look at my boat shop in a bit. And it's still following Crystal. That's a bad idea. It's a bit of a wrong day. But it's not like really raining, is it? No, it's just a bit of drizzle, isn't it? Yeah. Well, for all the family, in case of lifeboat experience. Experience what it's like to be part of the lifeboat boat crew. While aboard our vintage lifeboat, hear the stories of heroism and how to do sea. Dress up in lifeboat waterproof kit, play games and learn about life rate saving rescues. It's closed today. Open 10am to 3.30pm Sundays and Wednesdays. From Easter holidays to October half term. Plus fun holidays on Thursday and Saturday in the school holidays. Look at that for a beach. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? What do you mean different? How is it different? It's got sand, it's got sea. It's got them windmills out, so it'll see. Ooh, what does that sign say? It'll take sight in. No. Dunes this way and wildlife that way. Perfect for walkers and hikers. I'm trying to figure out how this sea's different from others. End. Well, there you go. Then. Why did you say it's different? Bit of a thing here, guys. Windmills in the sea. We don't like them, do you? I don't like them. I think they look ridiculous, and our electric bill hasn't come down. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> There's a solar farm being built around the corner from our house. But as electric can't come down, why not? It has. Yeah, but along with the rest of the country, and that's no to do at all with thingy. No, I should have bought an umbrella. I'm going to put my hood up and look all right, Dick. This looks a lovely beach, Jen. This is a really nice beach. <clears throat> and the free parking sells it to you, don't it? Free parking's done it for me. We'll come here for the rest of the week. <laughs> we are only here for another day. So, down there, Sandy Beach. And that over there is Hemsby and Scrapby. Panning round to if you walk along the seafront for another two or three miles is Great Yarmouth. Sort of good fun, isn't it? Woods up, it's a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. I hope everybody can hear me because there's a little bit of wind and we've not bothered with his mics because we've got to work out why they keep dying on us halfway through videos or footage should I say so you can have your dogs on here as well Tia we took for a walk, good walk this morning and left her at Shelley she's absolutely had it bless her Tiger. Yeah? Yeah. Right, orange boy. No, never mind. I thought I was here. As you can see, it's uh, quite a relaxed sea today. It's not, uh, not too choppy and sounds lovely. Might just record this and listen to it when I go to bed at night. I'll do a shot for it. So, we shall catch you guys in a minute.
that were that were Caister, um, not a lot there. We're going to go to Ye Old Bakery and Sandwich Shop and Tea Rooms. Um, I think you'll be rocking that woman in and that bloke should park here. I'm not going to park here though, am I? So we're going to have a look in the old bakery. Would help if that woman moved, like. Some silly people about. Think about I'm pretty sure all the silly people that come into my work are possibly from Norfolk, from what I can gather. You can't criticise everybody enough. Today. Okay, catch you guys it? soon. Yeah, I'm fine here. So guys, we're in Caister. Not a huge amount here, probably just enough. There is. James is just going into the old bakery. The old bakery. I'm eating it, Chris. And we're gonna then we're gonna head off into Great Yarmouth, I think. But we'll see. Wherever we end, I think we're going to Great Yarmouth. We are very indecisive today. But we'll catch you guys on the journey. Welcome back. So we've done Caister. Went a lot there, we'll see. Went a lot there, but ideally nice weather for a beach walk for a dog and what have you. And a really nice village to be fair. Just if you want stuff to do. It's not available. So yeah, Caister's uh, I know a lot of people are dog lovers, so for taking your dog for a nice stroll on the beach, it's a gorgeous beach, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And uh, Lifeboat Station does a few bits as well. So and that'll now always come in handy. Just off for a walk into Great Yarmouth. Again. This uh, this thing really likes me. Fancies you. <laughs> yeah, Great Yarmouth again. She's uh, holding it on me, hands free. <laughs> Happy bloody days. We'll catch you guys in the centre. See you later. So, I'm just wondering people, walking around Yarmouth on this grey day, behind us we've got the ABC cinema and just beyond that a really, really seedy fancy club, if you like that sort of thing. It's not, it's not seedy to the people that like it, it looks, it like looks quite bad to be fair. And behind us is the tea rooms and everything that was open the other day. So. Do the, um, these people that own these businesses wait and if weather's a bit crap, not bother opening up? Or I suppose it depends on our business. I suppose it does, yeah. There's no point in spending a full day there and from, only From Tuesday it. to now, there's a hell of a lot more closed than we on Thursday. But today's wet and horrible and miserable, whereas Tuesday wasn't. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. we're going to go stroll down up uh, here. We're not going to film it because we did all, we've already done this video. So we'll catch you guys in the time. So guys, hello. Homewood bound. Homewood bound. We didn't close the video off yesterday because there weren't a lot of filming done yesterday to be fair. And there so we're gonna to put everything together. So today's homewood bound. What did we think of Norfolk? Yeah, alright. I enjoyed it. It was very relaxing. Um, it was the, the I think the things were quite stretched out if you wanted to do anything. Great Yarmouth was good. The site were Karma was good, Proma was good. Caster, not a lot of case to walk enough to walk your dog. Yeah. But Norfolk um, Connell's a really nice place anyway, isn't it? Yeah, so. it is. We've had a really relaxing holiday, which is what we needed. So, for you guys that uh, like shishalis and that sort of thing, 
lot of chalets up there, isn't there? Different yeah. parks, with yeah. all different things on, so it's there. For the price we paid, I don't think we could go wrong, especially with everything. No, you can't go wrong, you can't go wrong for that price. Um, the site itself, probably get a five, it quite were nice, weren't it? Yeah, you've got to book any activities in advance. We tried to go Sorry to Sorry about the bouncing, golf. guys, I've not got the stick. We tried to go to Crazy Golf and things like that on the Thursday and realised you were meant to book them in advance. So you do have to do that on the app. That's something to consider when you're booking. Um, it is. Shall we say tod half an hour and finish this review off at home where it's going to be level and not bad, see? Yeah, why not? We'll so we'll see you guys when we get back to finish off the review. Tod half for now.